Hi friends and crafters, it's Carol here today and I want to share with you my Christmas tags of 2020. Thank you so much for asking or mentioning that you have missed my videos. It's been quite the year for us. We've been very busy and we were blessed to have a little granddaughter born to our family on December 18th. She was in Wilson's Children's Hospital for a few days in the NIC unit, but she did come home on December 22nd. And my husband and I are just thrilled that we have two granddaughters now. They will certainly keep us busy and we will love them with all our heart. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start with some of the tag dies that I used. I'm going to show you this one here. This is from AliExpress. I'm not sure what store this comes from. It's a nesting die set, and this is the smallest one in the set that I used. And I like it because of the scallops on the top. That's really cute. I also use this die right here from Sizzix. It's number 657911, and it looks like this. It's very fancy, and of course, it's called Tags Fancy. I always use this die. It's a uh, Marianne Designs, one of my favorite. I love the design on the bottom of it. You don't have to put a lot of uh, extra stuff on your tag when you use something fancy as that. And this is uh, LRO154. I'm not sure if that's still available, but you can look around. And I also use this from Cat Scrappiness. It doesn't have a name or a design design or number but it does have the scallops on the front on the bottom if you're looking for this particular die or you have it in your collection this year i was inspired by this paper right here it's called a gingerbread christmas and it is from echo park and it has beautiful beautiful papers in it and i wanted something that had a homemade home warm cozy feeling to my tags so i'm going to start with the tags over here and i'll do the best i can to tell you where the the images come from this of course is cottage cuts you might want to check the scrapping cottage for their sale the end of the year sale that's going on right now if you like any of their dies i'm not sure if any of these are available that I'm showing to you. I t will tell you the one that is not available that I know for sure. And this is just a cute little gingerbread popping out of a cupcake. And this is the Marianne Designs die. And this one says sweet as sugar. This one says baked with love. And this one says sweet treats. Super cute, right? This is from... This dies from AliExpress. It's either DIY Art Bin or there's another store that's almost like it. Hmm. I'm if I can think of it, I'll I'll put it down below in in the description box so you can go look and check it out. The actual one that they sold has this on there. It's home is where the heart is, and then I changed up. I wrote that myself, but I changed up the the saying on um, another different spoon. Isn't she cute? She's adorable. This is the one I changed up. I put chocolate kisses and gingerbread wishes. And I have to tell you that I did not send out any tags this year. The post office has been extremely busy the whole month of December, and I just didn't want to wait in line with what's going on right now so i'm ahead of for next year i guess although i may ch change my theme again who knows <laughs> all right that's those and then i've got this little girl which is also aliexpress and she's holding a little swag of little gingerbread men isn't she cute very very sweet and that is that AliExpress tag die that I showed you and this one says cookie decorating it made me think of cookie decorating with her holding the gingerbread men like that and this one is warm wishes 
And I changed up the paper on some of them. Some of them I made alike and some changed up. This says Baked with Love. And this is uh, Sweet Gingerbread Wishes. Cute, right? And then I got this little girl. She's got on her little apron and she's got a little cupcake in the center of her apron and her little chef hat. And I used these candy canes from Hobby Lobby to put in her hand. This one says lovin' from the oven and fresh baked gingerbread wishes. And this is that paper from the collection, the Echo Park. And this one is gingerbread happiness. And then the next one is also another AliExpress die and it's a little gingerbread boy in a cup of cocoa. He's just adorable. This one says warm and cozy and cup of cheer. Just love these. And the, of course they're the traditional colors of Christmas. It's cocoa time. And this one's made, this says made with love. And that is that basket. I'll put these away real quick so I can get the next one out for you to see. All right, I have these right here, and this is a retired die from Cottage Cuts. You cannot get this in the store anymore. There is a girl that goes with this that I'm on the lookout for. <laughs> I would love to have her sometime, but we'll see. You basically have to look through eBay, I think, or maybe Etsy if somebody's selling their collection. So this one is a, I used a nesting die that I had and I made it into a tag just because I liked the shape of this. And I used one of the double bows from my stash. I like that. Uh, look on that as well and this is gingerbread kitchen this one is also gingerbread kitchen because I thought of you know the gingerbread man with the apron and the bowl and the spoon made me think of kitchen and this is loving from the oven and gingerbread kisses then I have this gingerbread boy and he is a AliExpress die and I also used a Hobby Lobby candy cane to put in his hand. And he does come with a peppermint with his dye, but I did not use it. I liked my punch that I have, a Martha Stewart punch for that peppermint, and I liked that better. So that's what I used. This one says Gingerbread Collector. I sort of kind of am a gingerbread collector. I used to have a gingerbread themed tree and I still have all my ornaments and I still love gingerbread and I will probably put it up again at another time. I'm into pink Christmas right now. <laughs> um, this is sweet and warm and this is gingerbread kisses and then we're going to go on to this and this again is using the uh, cat scrappiness tag right here. This is quite a large tag and it gives you a lot of real estate for decorating and that's why I like it because these gingerbread dies are a little bit larger than cottage cuts so you need a bigger tag for them. So this is a little gingerbread in a cup and he's got cupcakes and this says cup of cheer. This one is sweet and warm. This one is Cup of Cheer again. And that's it for those. And then we're on to these little girls. Again, this is another use of the Cat Scrappiness dies, uh, tag die. Like I said, it uh, gives you a lot of room for these larger uh, cut dies. And here's the little girl. She's got gingerbread on her skirt and this one says gingerbread happiness I love cookies warm wishes 
and this one just says Cookie, that's her name. Then I have this one right here. This is the oddball out of the bunch. I was working with making memory decks cards. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen about a dozen memory decks cards that I made that were too big for my Rolodex that I made. So I shared them and I was playing with these dies and so I decided to make a tag. This is the gingerbread man that's from Cottage Cuts that's retired. And then this little oven is a Magnolia doohickey die. And it's really, really cute. It has a lot of dimension. And you can see the top of the oven right there. And it's got a little oven door with a door handle and these little mitts that you can hang on the door handle. It's just adorable. I love this. And of course I had to put Bake some love on that. So that's the little oddball in the collection. And then moving on to this, this is a AliExpress die, this little girl. She's super adorable. I dressed her up with some little bow embellishments and these little pearls, little snowflake. This one says gingerbread kisses. This one's baked some love, love homemade, and gingerbread wishes. Cute, right? And then I have this little guy right here, last but not least. This is an AliExpress die as well, but I got this probably two years ago, so I'm not sure what store this one came from. But he's really super cute. He's got a Hobby Lobby little candy cane holding in his hand. And this one says cookie dough. This one says holiday cookies. This one says cookie. And I love the candy cane striped paper in the background with this. This one says gingerbread kisses. And this one says sweet as sugar. That is it for my tags for this year, everyone. And I'm going to be back later on with some more Christmas projects that I have done. I'm just not quite finished right now. It's going to be later than Christmas and New Year's, but I'm going to share it with you anyway because it'll give you some inspiration for 2021, hopefully. So I'd like to wish you all a very happy New Year. And happy crafting. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be happy. Bye.